spoke with the victim's family after the verdict was read. What did they say? Well, they've been waiting for this day for more than five years, and they tell me it's the closest thing they can get to justice while they continue to miss their loved one every day. Coming outside, everything looks a little greener. That's how Carmen Hernandez Zangotita describes what it was like to hear a jury sentence her aunt's accused killer to spend the rest of their life behind bars. The jury saw our pain, the horrific tragedy that was done to such an angel like her, and I was just felt relieved and grateful. It was on January 8th in 2018 that Carmen's aunt, Janice Zangotita Torres, was abducted as she walked out of her job in Kissimmee. Her body was later found in Ormond Beach. Zangotita Torres' cousin Joanne describes her as an amazing mother and friend. Sometimes it's even kind of hard to to find words, that's how um, an amazing person she was. More than five years later, a jury found this woman, Ishnar Lopez, guilty of her murder. They also convicted her of kidnapping, robbery, and carjacking. You are sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole. Investigators say Lopez convinced two people to help her track down a woman she believed had information on a man she was interested in. The group mistakenly kidnapped Zangotita Torres, who had nothing to do with anyone involved. Even after they realized their mistake, investigators say they killed her. The way she did that was that was that was unhuman. Somebody in the right mind would not even think of doing what she did. The defense tried to cite mental illness. Lopez is insane. She's not legally insane. And she is mentally ill. And that's what this is. Cook says she hopes Lopez spends every second she's behind bars thinking about the life she stole from them. No punishment will be enough. Now, as for those other two people involved, one of them was found guilty in 2021 and the other one pleaded no contest. Live in Osceola County, I'm Liv Johnson, Western News.